Hello and welcome to the second episode of Street Talk. I'm so excited to be here again with you presenting this uh, new show. Uh, already I have got tens of messages with requests about new topics for street photography discussions and I'm really looking forward to sharing each and every idea with you. Moving on, I want to say that the ideas and proposals I have received are, are many and uh, lots of them are contradicting, which means that I won't be able to satisfy all of you with each video. So some videos might be boring for others and those same boring videos might be very interesting to others if you know what I mean. Please understand that the videos that I'll be publishing might not interest you personally each and every week but I'll make sure to uh, put a clear title on each video so you know hey man. so you know if it's of interest to you. So today I will be talking about what gear you should carry with you on a street hunt or uh, should I better put it what gear I recommend you have with you not should but I just recommend you have okay I don't want to pretend that I know everything so I'll just uh, tell you what I carry with me for short street hunts, short local street hunts, which means that uh, what I have with me when I'm shooting in my neighborhood or local area. I'm not talking about when I'm traveling to other cities or other countries. Just a local two, maybe three hour photo walk. So I'll go and find a nice place to sit down and uh, talk to you and share with you what gear I'm carrying with me. Yeah, after I've done that, I'll go shooting. I'm approaching the uh, place where I'll sit down and share my gear with you. I have to be honest, it does feel weird walking around pointing a camera to my face. But there's no other way to do this, right? Wow, I just noticed. The mountain peaks are snowed. Yeah, snowed. There's snow on the mountain peaks. Ooh, didn't expect that to happen so soon. I mean, it's just December. Okay, so I guess this will do. I'm sitting here by the beach. So uh, let me tell you what I've got with me today. First of all, I have my camera with me, right? You can't do street photography without a camera. That goes unsaid. Now, what camera do you need? Well, you can have any camera, really. You don't have to have a fancy, expensive camera. Just your camera phone, your, your smartphone is just fine. Or a simple film camera, or any compact camera. I've also got my, my Ricoh GR with me here. I've got my Ricoh GR with me too, which I like using as a backup, especially in uh, very uh, difficult situations where I want to be really inconspicuous. The Ricoh GR is perfect for stuff like that. Now, what other things do I have with me? Let me tell you. Well, I have my Street Hunters Edition Streetomatic. That's made by Cozy Speed. It's awesome. You should look it up on the internet. It's really handy. You just tie this around your waist and you put all your gear inside. So what's inside my bag? I have two extra batteries for my Fuji. I have my flash and in the case of my flash I also have an SD card, an extra SD card for my Fuji or Ricoh depending on which camera will need it first. I have my glasses in case it gets really clou cloudy and uh, I can't really see well with my sunglasses I just switch to my regular glasses. I have a few extra batteries for my flash and I have my streethunters.net business cards in case someone needs a business card or in case I need a business card to defuse a situation. Using a business card to defuse a situation is a very good tactic because when you take a photograph of someone and they don't like that, they don't like being photographed, if you show them your business card they automatically perceive you as an authority, they automatically perceive you as someone who's serious about what they're doing. So it's a good thing to have business cards with you. Because this, uh, because I'm out for a short two, three hour street hunt, I am not carrying any food or water with me. So instead I'm carrying just some, some coins. So uh, that's another handy thing to have. If you're hungry or thirsty and you need a little snack or some water, just carry around some coins. It's much easier than, just, than carrying around a bottle of water or a sandwich when you're only just going around your neighborhood. So that is what I carry with me when I go on a local street hunt. Nothing much, just the bare necessities, so I uh, don't run out of, uh, of camera power, basically. That's what I need. I need camera power. 
so I need I don't want to ever run out of SD cards or batteries and if I'm using film I always carry with me a couple of rolls of film as well besides the roll that's in my camera that's all I had to share with you for today I hope you enjoyed the show keep on sending in your ideas and each week or bi-weekly I will be making a new video for you to watch now stay sharp and keep shooting <laughs>